from the doors of Stouffer Gymnasium in Thibodeau to the steps of the Sydney Opera House, some 9,000 miles, a half a world away. But the Gulf Coast and the Gold Coast are now closer than ever, thanks to the efforts of the Nichols men's basketball program, which toured Australia earlier this month. The Colonels have built a recruiting pipeline down under, including their all-time leading scorer, Anatoly Bowes, who was last year's Rookie of the Year in Australia's premier professional league and played against his former team twice on this tour. It was a whirlwind week and a half for all involved, including head coach J.P. Piper. We left out in New Orleans uh, August 1st, flew to Dallas, then into Brisbane, and then into Adelaide. Took us about 23 hours to get over. Uh, played a game in Adelaide against the 36ers. Uh, led most of the game, faltered a little bit late. Uh, turnovers and rebounding hurt us. Flew then to Melbourne. Played uh, Dandenong in uh, another tough contest. Now this one, we were never ahead. We trailed the entire game. Good, it was eye-opening. We didn't defend well. Didn't take care of the ball. And um, good lessons in that game. We. Left the next morning for Sydney. I had to play two games there uh, against a couple of all-star teams and uh, won both of those games and really played our best ball of the trip in those last two games. And it was a great way to finish. Just as important as the added on-court work the trip allowed was the once-in-a-lifetime cultural experience for Piper's Colonels. I hope they were um, a little bit in awe of, of how big the world is. You realize uh, they carry on every day in Melbourne and Sydney and Adelaide without any thought in New Orleans, Louisiana, or Thibodeau for that matter. So um, how huge the world is and at the same time how small it is. There were connections for us halfway around the world, which was neat. And then they got to see some of the you know, most famous spots in the world. A lot of those guys will probably never get back there for the rest of their lives. So it's neat that we were able to do that for them. And I think it, it enhances their college experience. For Southland Spotlight, I'm Mike Wagenheim.